With 4 million sounds, what will you create? Take the free trial today. Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Sin Anatomy video here from the Superbooth 20 Home Edition. I'm on the line with Ali from Geltex. How are you? Hey Tom, thanks for having us. I'm doing fine in, in quarantine in Argentina. And yeah, looking forward to speaking to you. Um, what kind of company do you have? What is Yelt Geltex? Okay. So uh, we are a company specialized in doing um, custom MIDI controllers. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and this year we were yeah, uh, looking forward to show our new stuff, what is, I'm going to show you today. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we built a, a framework, a system to build uh, custom MIDI controllers. Um, and the idea was actually to take all the complexity out to do this kind of work and leave all the fun in. So mm -hmm. for that, we built uh, a modular system, uh, which is a modular electronic system. Mm -hmm. And with it, uh, uh, an app, which is a, a web app, where you can easily design your own controller. Um, yeah. Where comes from the, uh, the idea to making this uh, product? Are you boring by all the uh, MIDI controllers on the market, or do you have some? Do you want to have some specific features, or? Okay, it's a nice question. So the idea for us is to to open the possibility for artists to work from uh, their needs and not to adapted needs for the products that are on the market. So the idea is that uh, most people have a, 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 a workflow, a way, of, uh, a way of working. And many times you have to adapt the things that are on the market to your own needs. So mm -hmm. we want to turn around that so that uh, we are giving the possibility to build your own instrument or your own interface from your needs and especially for your needs and only that. So mm. uh, we think uh, it's uh, quite interesting. There's a lot of uh, a playground with uh, Max for Life and with Reactor and Pure Data and all this kind of software where people are yeah, trying things and playing with it. And mm. uh, we want to give the possibility to give a body to all these ideas. So uh, maybe I don't know, you have an ensemble in Reactor that you wanted to actually play with your hands. So with this system, it will be possible to do just that. Uh, yeah. Are these, so. are these only uh, USB controllers or also with MIDI out or? Yeah, so um, I can show you. So the, the, on, on the back panel, we have a DIN 5 in, out and through. And also, mm -hmm. uh, and also USB. I don't know if the light is it's possible to see it there, mm -hmm. but yeah, we have the three uh, in, out, and through, and also and also MIDI USB. And you are, you are doing this quite uh, sometimes already. Um, are there already some extreme cases from uh, customers? Very big projects or? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there are a few. Uh, right now, we are working with a with a French artist uh, called Jax, uh, and uh, we are w building with him uh, a massive set. Actually, I don't know if this is uh, if I can say it actually, but mm -hmm. we, we we are building a a massive set for for him. Okay. So this this would be an extreme set. It's more than ten of those controllers together to make okay. a, a, a massive uh, spaceship, let's say. And for Superbooth 20 Home Edition, you are showing um, a new idea or new product uh, where people can design your own MIDI controllers from your, on your website, right? Exactly. So let me show you that. So, so yes, so the idea, let me show you first the size. Uh, we have a, 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 on this... Uh, on this first edition, we have three sizes of uh, controllers. So this will be the small one, which is uh, uh, not really uh, ready. This uh, is the caps of the encoders. Mm -hmm. So this is the middle size. Uh, yeah, uh, middle size. And 
and this one it's the big one wow and, <laughs> okay yeah and it's a really big one and um yeah so um, lo, lo, lo. so these are the sizes and uh, now i will show you the the app for building them so i will mm -hmm. switch this so okay here we are in the factory this is how we call this uh this app and mm -hmm. uh, on the on the landing we have uh, actually to choose which size we want to design on so this is actually our canvas and we will start with a with a little one and uh, so we select the size and we go to this um uh to this place of the app where you can actually start to build your controller we mm -hmm. have here a toolbox with different uh, models and you just simply drag and drop them to your canvas and start mm -hmm. uh, design designing your your controller uh, so and we can go crazy and I don't know do whatever we want and uh, something like this so your idea is uh, offering less generic uh, MIDI controllers but very uh, controllers were made for a special task for example so i want a, um, a midi controller for this application or i want to have an application for this synthesizer or so exactly yeah. and uh, actually not only for uh, musicians uh, we are also thinking about djs and uh, light jays and actually everybody that is uh, working with the computer as a central piece not only the computer because mm -hmm. we can also yeah you know control hardware but uh, but yeah, the, the, the spectrum is open when, when you start to think all the artists that have to, for example, for VJs, there are not many uh, controllers for them. So I, I think with uh, this system, you can, we can start opening some new areas. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, and as you said, uh, you can build it specifically for what you want. And uh, yeah. And a, um, yeah. how, uh, because I saw, I see on your website now on uh, um, the price of it, how does, uh, so it has a starting price and then how much you put on it, it becomes uh, more expensive or how it works? Yeah, it's exactly like this. Uh, we wanted to be very transparent with it. So we have a calculator, a real time calculator here where you can see in real time how much are you spending. And there is a base price, which is the case, uh, uh, the case and, uh, and the, yeah, and the, and the front panel and, you know, the, 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 yeah, the electronics. The yeah. Yeah. And then every module you bring in, it has a different price and you can mm -hmm. see it in real time. How much are you spending? So is, um, are your system so, so open that a user can, for example, modify it um, later or change uh, modules, for example, or is it just a module system for your factory? Uh, the model system is uh, for our factory because if we build it, we build every unit when, um, when somebody wants it. So we don't build any units that is not already sold or wished by someone. So, mm -hmm. uh, so the modular system is actually for us it has some cool stuff. For example, if you overuse it or if something breaks, it's uh, very easy to fix it because as there are modules, we can ship uh, only a module to replace that one uh, alone. So you don't have to throw away the whole panel or, or stuff like that. But mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, the modular part, let's say, it's, uh, it's uh, basically for us. Okay. Uh, Mm -hmm. And so, um, so you have said, uh, said it, you could, it can be rotary encoders, it can be uh, normal knob, uh, light knobs. Yes. Um, what can it be otherwise? Sliders? Yes, we have a. So, in this first version, uh, uh, we have a. Let me show you the, the other ones. Uh, we have a different uh, buttons. Um, so, with this one, we have a 16 layout button in the place where you can put. Uh, uh, one module, and those are all RGB uh, feedback. And we have also this one, which is another, you know, layout of buttons, and also this one, which are bigger. And these ones, which are arcade buttons, like the old ones we used to use um, in the 80s, uh, playing games, actually. And uh, we have also, uh, yeah, encoders, normal potentiometers, uh, uh, faders, 
Uh, here we have a mistake. And we have also joysticks with a spring to center and without spring uh, to center. And, and this is the first version we have all that uh, all those modules actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once you are, let, let me finish uh, with this part so we can move on. So once you finish your design, whatever it is, uh, the, the functional design, actually you can go and change, I'm sorry, and change the static of it. Uh, so we can upload an image from our computer to put as a background because you, we build every front panel specifically for that uh, unit. So we can print on the back whatever you want. We have so a send anatomy MIDI controller would be no problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And yeah, <clears throat> and we we also have indicators here. We, we can customize how it looks and put mm -hmm. names on it if we want to lay out all that and say, I don't know, those gonna be sends. So we can and change the color and the size of the of the font so we can customize the aesthetics of it. Once you are done with your design, you just uh, click make it and we need three weeks to build it and we ship it to your door. And that will be the whole process. And um, is this system already available or is it? Um... Um, okay, we are now uh, in a beta phase pro uh, um, time. Let's say we, we are open and now uh, a, a beta release. We are going to ship 30 next month, <laughs> actually within next month. And after those, we are going to open uh, for everybody to do it. Okay. So it's, uh, yeah, we are quite close, actually. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Can, can you maybe show me, uh, you said you have three different sizes to only get, get an overview how big uh, they are. Again, to the landing page, and we're going to choose the, the big one. Mm -hmm. You can choose also the orientation. Uh, so you can use it in horizontal or in vertical orientation. Now, okay. we, we are trying the big one in a in a horizontal horizontal orientation and let's see how, how how expensive would be a controller like this if you put it full with knobs and sliders or so what price range okay the price the price range it's uh between 300 and a thousand it depends on what you put on it so for example the encoders is the most expensive uh, model we have on the system. So if you put a lot of uh, encoders, of course, the system has a limit, which is quite big. So you can put up to 32 encoders, up to 64 uh, analog uh, components, let's say sliders or potentiometers or joysticks. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, buttons, we can put a lot up to more than 192. And, uh, and also feedback, we have uh, a lot also room to grow actually because we made it like this that uh, it's possible for us to expand the system in the near future so this is the first version and then we will bring new models to the system this is the idea so but uh, yeah with the big one you can um, yeah uh, picture more or less what you can do here this is, would be like a 12 track mixer let's say where you can put, uh, I don't know, sense or EQs over it. And, and also we have here a real-time calculator for the possibilities of the system. So uh, every time you drag and drop a model on, the, on your canvas, on your controller, it will rest from the total amount available. And if you go over it, it will tell you, you know, you have too many of those or too many of those of that. Uh, but yeah, uh, okay. the big one, it's, yeah, it's uh, quite uh, massive. We can put here, yeah. I don't know, uh, encoders over it, like uh, many of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. As you said, no, it's in beta. So we ca when we can expect it, um, fi the final, final version, uh, final that it will be available for everyone. Okay, uh, we we think then in the next two months we uh, we will be ready to take uh, orders from every everybody. If you head up now to jailtext.com, uh, there is a possibility to get into this uh, beta mm -hmm. release, uh, so you can uh, yeah get yourself on the list if you are interested mm -hmm. in participating in this uh, in this in, in the beta release. 
Afterwards, we will do it uh, open and uh, we expect that to happen in the next two months if the world more or less comes to a normal state uh, mm -hmm. right now it's uh, quite complicated uh but yeah uh, that that's the perspective more or less okay okay i, I wanted to again uh, switch here and yeah. i give you give you an overview uh, again of the of the size okay. maybe that's yeah. the big that's the big one yeah that's that's the big one on the on the programming side, we have also quite uh, uh, nice stuff. For example, we have uh, added, uh, value scaling and uh, value picking inside of the controller, and many interesting modes for the encoders. Uh, for example, the possibility to send two CC at the same time, or to switch to certain bank when you press the encoder and turn around. Mm -hmm or to, I don't know, make it a double click and reset the value. Or uh, I don't, we have a, a Vumeto mode, which will receive velocity from MIDI and transform it into color. So if you work with a tractor or something like this, you can see the volumes on your tracks. Uh, we have a uh, velocity to MIDI, which is also interesting to work with Ableton Live and to receive all those colors that give you information about the state mm -hmm. of your set. Uh, we had also implemented uh, stuff like this. And you can have up to eight banks in the controller, which is also cool. Uh, and the controller will remember the state of all those banks, even if uh, they are not in focus. So okay. if you're working in Ableton and changing something that is not on focus on the controller, the controller will remember. And when you switch to that bank, you will get the right information. Uh, let me see. This is... Uh, this is the middle size, which is a kind of a remake of a controller we did before called Mini Block, which was only uh, 64 potentiometers. And this is like the new version, which has 32 encoders. And with the eight banks, you can see here, each bank is in a different color. And we have all those cool stuff. Like, for example, here we have double CC. So the blue color will give you the information of the first CC and the yellow color will give you the information of the second CC, and you can move only one at the, at the time. For example, only the, the blue one and the yellow will stay. And if you press it, you, ac you access the second one and move that one. And yeah. OK, and tricks like that, we have uh, many of them. And um, yeah, you can see it more in detail maybe when we do a video specially for that. OK. And uh, so, uh, in two months, people, all the people can get your MIDI controllers. So the yeah. cheapest one will be around what's what you say around three hundred euro, and then the next. Uh, yeah, the prices are in uh, US dollars. Actually, the calculator on the app is also in euros. You can switch it to euros, mm -hmm. but in US dollars, it will be. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think it's a, a little less than 300. It depends on the model. If you use the cheap models, maybe uh, you can bring it uh, down to 250 for the little one without okay. using encoders, stuff like this. And uh, and the big ones will be around uh, 1,000. If Again, it depends on the models you use. You can make it cheaper maybe for 800 or for something like this and mm -hmm. up to... I don't know, up to a thousand or a little more, maybe also. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, people can get more information, I think, at yelltext.com. Yes, uh, you can find us in uh, social media, of course, in Instagram and uh, Facebook. You can write us uh, a mail uh, or or contact us in our webpage. And and yeah, we are we're happy to talk with you about your project. Okay, and of course, all the super news at sintanatmin.com. Big yes. thanks okay. for presenting the, your new MIDI controllers. Thank you very much. Uh, it, I, I wanted to say it's a pleasure. Yesterday, I saw the content on uh, on the Superbooth uh, channel, and uh, we are very happy to be a part of this amazing community. And the things that people are doing, it's amazing. And the music was beautiful. So we are, yeah, very happy to start to be a part of this uh, community. It's a shame this year yeah. couldn't be in person. But uh, we hope next year will be better and we will Oops. get to know us. <laughs> Big hopes. Yeah.
Big, tongue, big thanks, Ali. Yeah, thank you, Tom. And, and big thanks for watching. If you have a question, let me know in the comments below. And see you soon in our next Super Booth 20 Home Edition videos. Bye. Bye.